Hey everybody, it's Jim here. Hope everybody's doing well. Before we get started, just want to say happy birthday to my father. I hope you have a lot of fun at the racetrack gambling today, and I hope you win a few bucks. <laughs> We're going to be talking about Telecaster pickups, because as you would have seen from the thumbnail, this guy died and there were actually some warning signs which we're going to get into but it's kind of a wild sight i had never actually looked at this pickup since i got it this guitar is as old as i am actually has a pencil date of june 1984 on it and i thought to myself starting to not sound so great a lot of the output was seemingly missing from specifically the bridge pickup and a little bit of the low end started to go too the guitar needed a new set of strings so i decided why not while i have the strings off take it apart and this is what we found so check out this pickup looks like it's all melted and those rubber washers they melted so much, they got so hot, they actually cracked in some spots. And on this side, that's cracked and connected to the base plate of the pickup itself on this old JV pickup. It's wild. Seeing this thing up close for the first time was really crazy, but I've heard of this happening before. If you think about it, it makes a lot of sense, especially with wax potted pickups. You're going to have sweat that's gonna get into the pickup. You're also gonna to have to contend with heat. Wax heats up, and since this isn't a covered pickup, it's just the design of the Telecaster bridge pickup, it's susceptible to giving out over years. And unfortunately, it kinda of is what it is. I'm always gonna keep this pickup around, but I suppose a few ways that you could fight against this, so to speak, the obvious first one is going to be if you can, try not to keep a Telecaster out in a really hot environment for extreme amounts of time. Extreme temperatures in general aren't great for guitars, but especially for pickups and on older guitars like this one or ones even older than this, they might be the thing that pushes it a little bit over the edge and you might need either a rewind or to replace the pickup. And in this case, I think you could tell since I have this thing in my hands, gone ahead and replaced the pickups. Some other things you can do is fight against humidity because humidity is going to have an impact on that as well and it can actually cause the pickup itself to short out. That's not always going to be something you're going to notice straight away. It could be a gradual thing or it could be something that instantly just goes pop just like that. That's the beauty of electrical components. However, I initially thought that this guitar always sounded great and I never thought I had any reason to replace the pickups on it until very recently when all of a sudden the kind of lower output pickups were noticeably lower output and again some of the low end on the treble pickup itself was starting to give out. So if you have one of these guitars and it doesn't really matter when it was made, obviously it's brand new, this is probably not going to be something you have to worry about for quite some time unless you're playing a lot of outdoor festivals on a really really regular basis and things like that if at any point your telecaster is just not sounding the way you think it should the first thing you should do is break out a digital multimeter check out some of the readings that come off of it in some cases if you're getting no sound i mean you might not get any reading whatsoever it might just be a full-on short but if you do Take the time when you have the strings off of the instrument, you can properly remove everything and take a look under the hood. You might be really surprised at what you might find. And yeah, I cannot believe that this rubber piece is now a part of the pickup. It has like crystallized and become one with the paste plate. And then the actual ground lead is come undone a little bit. So this definitely heated up and yeah, wild, wild condition. Never gonna get rid of it. Just like I'm never gonna get rid of the DM30 switch, the control plate, or the neck pickup. But obviously this thing is back together and it's playing. I did swap in a new set of pickups with a new control plate. I had the set of Lawlers, the specialties that I loved. If you're interested in hearing those things in all their glory, albeit in a different Japanese Fender Telecaster, uh, you can click up here. I made a review just why I absolutely love those pickups. They're one of my favorites of all time. And now they're in my favorite Telecaster of all time. So happy days indeed. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever had a pickup die, what you do for preventative measures, and just 
yeah, if you chose to have it rewound, which I I don't know, maybe one day down the road I'll have that done on the bridge and the neck pickup as well. But that's all up to your discretion. Thank you for watching today's video. I know things have been a little slow on the YouTube uploads, but real life has been kicking my ass. Not going to lie to you guys. I still love and appreciate all of you that click on these videos. It means the world to me knowing I can take a few extra days off, come back, and still have your support. But that is all for today and all for the little, you know, thank yous. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy, everybody. Mm -hmm.